My name is Bahar Ali. I am a Kurdish woman. Uh, I'm a feminist activist uh, living uh, in Erbil in Kurdistan of Iraq. Uh, I am founder and director of M Organization for Human Development, which is a women organization uh, working on um, uh, gender equality or achieving gender equality in Kurdistan. Uh, 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 for promoting gender equality, uh, we are focusing on three fields of work. One of them uh, is uh, protection of women, uh, survivors of the violence or sexual violence. For that, we have several programs to empower women, trauma healing programs for the survivors and uh, 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 protecting them. And also, we are working on the uh, mainstreaming gender equality in the education sector, working close with the Ministry of uh, Education and we formed a gender for uh, gender unit in the uh, Ministry of Education in Kurdistan in order to follow up the policy, uh, all the, poli all the whole policies of the Ministry of Education, how fill the gaps of inequality in within the ministry. And also uh, building capacity of women, uh, especially the young women, uh, to be leaders for the society. Also, also uh, women participation and peace building uh, and decision making in Kurdistan is also one of the uh, main fields that uh, we are working on. The, the needs of the survivors of uh, sexual gender-based violence are huge in Kurdistan because uh, we just, uh, the war against ISIS is finished in the area and there are uh, more than 3,000 um, Yazidi wo women were captured by ISIS and now half of them uh, could manage to come back to Kurdistan and all of them uh, they are really uh, traumatized uh, uh, a lot. So the programs that we have as an organization offering to them, it is uh, psychosocial support, legal support and trauma healing program. And also uh, because a lot of young uh, ladies were captured by ISIS and also we are supporting them to continue going to the school to uh, complete their education and also leadership, providing leadership skills to them young female survivors or young women survivors to be leaders uh, advocating for the Yazidi cause or for the Yazidi women cause um, uh, in, within the country and also uh, internationally. Because there, there is, uh, we prevent such violence um, uh, through the empowerment of the women uh, survivors uh, themselves and also raising awareness among women and building capacity of women in the society, how they can um, protect themselves, to, to know them, to, to, to learn them uh, what is uh, gender-based violence, what is sexual gender violence, and how uh, also teaching them the, the tools or mechanisms to uh, protect themselves from the violence. But bes beside that, we need also the society to be aware about the sexual violence and the consequences of the violence, gender based violence or sexual gender violence on the society also. So we have uh, several programs of the raising awareness of the uh, society, of the family, uh, of the employees of the government and institution who are working with the, dealing with this, such people, with the survivors every day in their daily work, how they can deal with them. So it is raising awareness of the society, capacity building of the actors uh, from civil society or from the government of the uh, protection mechanism for mechanisms for the uh, gender based violence or sexual gender based violence the, the situation of women in Kurdistan uh, for sure a change in the in the last I can say 20 years more than uh, and uh, uh, because uh, uh, women movement are active in Kurdistan so in the last uh, uh, 20 years a woman a movement could uh, make advocacy for changing uh, legislation in Kurdistan. So we changed the uh, uh, domestic, we changed the law of uh, personal uh, status law uh, in a way to be 
uh, more uh, taking into consideration more rights of women, but it is still needs to to work on it. Uh, it is not co not uh, like perfect as women activists or feminist activists uh, movements are wishing to. Uh, also, we passed a law for eliminating uh, domestic violence uh, and also uh, panel law. Also, some part articles has been changed. So that is in the legislation. Also in the presenting women. Women now in Kurdistan, uh, they are active and they are also uh, the, uh, 30 percent of the seats of the parliament are occupied by women in the parliament and also the uh, speaker of parliament and the, uh, one of the uh, vice speaker of the parliament are women and they, we have also three women as minister in the current cabinet but it is not everything that we want it is uh, we are still in the uh, like in the beginning in the first steps of um, uh, uh, giving more space for women uh, in Kurdistan but there, there are also uh, a lot of forms of the violence against women uh, in the Kurdistan. And within the ISIS and after ISIS, actually, a lot of issues has been changed. So uh, there are um, uh, the, uh, from 2014 till now, the uh, focus on women issues has been very limited uh, from the uh, international community and from the international donors because it was more focusing on the relief. So uh, in the last five years, I can say the movement has been went back a bit and also the achievements that women movement could achieve in the last 20 years in Kurdistan, some of them uh, have been like uh, back or become limited because of the uh, focus of the international community and also of the government on the relief and the security issues. The most pressing of the important issues facing women in Kurdistan at this moment, uh, there are uh, many women in uh, Kurdistan because of the war with ISIS, uh, they have a children because of rape and the children are not accepted by the society, especially within uh, minority, because according to the minority's religion uh, rules, those children are not uh, related to Yazidi or to the Christian community, because according to the Iraqi laws, um, uh, if any children born from the Muslim father, so the child become automatically a Muslim. So that is one of the main reasons that the uh, minority, religion minorities groups uh, and communities are not accepting the children. So that is the main issue. Women, mothers cannot keep their uh, children. So there are also many, many survivors. They are still living in Syria, but they don't want to come back to Kurdistan because they want to keep their children. So I mean, the, the phase, the main phase is the legislation that we have. It is not suit or like uh, uh, workers for the new situation after the Yazidi against the minorities uh, in Iraq and in Kurdistan. Uh, and a presentation of women, I mean, uh, it is still very limited. I mentioned to the some numbers of the women in Parliament, but uh, or three women as a minister, but we don't have enough uh, or like a good number of women in decision making, like uh, general directors, advisors, uh, other uh, heads of the university. They are all uh, free of women. Some of them, or there are very uh, small numbers of women. Uh, are existing there. So the, the range of the violence against women and it, it increased in the last five years and still continue. And there are a lot of children uh, born uh, maybe out of rape and some of them out any other sexual uh, relation between uh, women and men, but it is without, outside of the marriage, uh, uh, like uh, marriage system. So all those children also, uh, they are, uh, many children, so they throw them on the street and uh, the orphan houses also are not actually uh, uh, very well qualified uh, to uh, to raise up uh, uh, those children and mothers also don't, don't 
don't have right to give her name to the child. So one of the uh, issues that we are working on with the other organizations is, is about uh, uh, mothers uh, can give her name to the child. So in this, if it happened, this law is changed, uh, we can solve a part of the program that women can keep her, her kid uh, if, if the kid is outside of the uh, marriage system. So um, uh, we are working to change this um, uh, law or amend this law uh, through the uh, advocacy. And we have a group of uh, uh, activists and organizations. We prepared um, uh, a draft law to, to change to give mother's name to the children. And uh, we are advocating. We will have in the coming days and coming weeks uh, meeting with the members of the parliament because at the end, uh, Iraqi parliament should change to this law. Meeting at uh, making pressure on or like uh, uh, um, uh, trying to bring to engage uh, uh, members of the parliament to this uh, topic. So we are meeting them and asking them to be a uh, friend or support of this uh, proposal that uh, we have to for them also to advocate for amending the law or changing the law in the Iraqi parliament. And also, we will use. Uh, uh, media, social media for advoc advocating for this issue. And also beside that, we will making uh, like uh, raising awareness among the society why this change, this law should be changed and what is the uh, uh, consequence of the new law if it's changed on the society and also on the human rights uh, on the or protecting women and the children in the society in the future. Uh, it is uh, up to actually. Uh, we are Kurdistan society, it's a conservative society. Uh, women issue and uh, feminist issue, it is not uh, on the uh, top agenda of the decision makers. And the society also uh, are not very much uh, uh, welcomed the, the uh, feminist principles or feminist approaches because according to them, if we empower women, if we in, uh, protect women, it means that uh, the uh, uh, role of men will be uh, reduced in the society. And also, uh, we have not to forget the religion and the religion leaders in the, in the society. They have also a role and they have also in, uh, effect on the uh, society uh, to be against the women movement and feminist movement because they think that uh, the feminist movement and all these approaches, it is a, a Western uh, principles and Western uh, approaches are not uh, uh, sweet for our society. So that is why we have actually, as a feminist activist, as a feminist organization, we have a big challenges in the society. So in each event, especially on the sensitive uh, 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 topics when we talk about, for example, children born of rape, of giving mother's name to the children, and uh, before also we did a lot of um, uh, advocacy for the uh, gender equality, uh, and even the concept of gender was became a big problem in the Kurdistan because the religion leaders use it against us that we want to change the society, we want to give uh, more co like uh, power to women and men has not power. So uh, that's why the challenges are big for the feminist organization in Kurdistan. It is not easy work, uh, but we believe as uh, myself, as uh, I am a feminist from very early age of my life, uh, uh, and as an organization also, uh, we have to have patience. Uh, this process is an ongoing and, uh, uh, process, uh, so uh, we will use all our uh, like ways to continue working, to advocating for gender equality in Kurdistan. We can use sometimes courts, uh, we can use uh, media, social media, and um, uh, decision makers sometimes, if it needs. Uh, the authorities need to be uh, uh, engaged in the uh, feminist of in the achieving gender equality in Kurdistan. Uh, they need to be uh, put 
uh, gender equality and uh, feminist issues on the top of the agenda, so top their agenda. So all the policies uh, in the in in the Kurd in Kurdistan should be uh, uh, gender sensitive. So all the legislation should be gender sensitive. Uh, the uh, budget and budgeting should be uh, gender sensitive, and they have to listen uh, to women organization because at the end, uh, when we are asking for gender equality, when we are advocating for uh, women rights. It is not it, uh, not only good for the women. It is good for the society. It means we can use or we can um, uh, the, the, the the Kurdistan, the whole Kurdistan, can be benefit from the efforts and experience of the women that exist and very active in Kurdistan. Although we are not a big part of the decision making processes in the Kurdistan, but we are active for the Kurdistan. A women movement where a big uh, uh, supporter uh, for the referendum during the independent referendum that we did. So women, ex women activists, women movement were a big supporter uh, and the first uh, responsible for the uh, uh, for the people who became um, uh, like uh, uh, victims of ISIS when they come. When the people from the minorities from the Shangal area became IDPs in Kurdistan, women organization or women activists or women volunteers were the first responder to to keep them to support them. So for all these reasons. Uh, it is better for the decision makers to support women issues to, or I mean, to put the uh, uh, gender equality in the top of their agenda. From a long history, I can say about uh, close to 100 years, women are active uh, uh, in the revolution, Kurdish revolution processes in the history of the Kurdistan. But it was, the number was uh, different and limited when it was uh, uh, Peshmerga time. And I mean that by Peshmerga when the Kurdish should go to the mountain and fighting uh, uh, for the, in the military way, I mean, uh, for the rights of Kurdish people, women were always exist, but the number were sometimes uh, very limited or the small numbers. But in, inside the city, uh, all the uh, like uh, secret cells who were supporting Peshmerga, who were supporting the Kurdish uh, uh, rights movement, women played a big role to uh, supporting Peshmerga, supporting activities in, inside the city, also publishing uh, the newspapers publishing the statements of the political Kurdish political parties within the society and also protecting uh, men, protecting boys and girls from the regimes that they are always targeted, the politician and the political families and or political activists in, in Kurdistan. And also we have not to forget that mothers and uh, wives of the Peshmerga also played a big role. Uh, I'm talking about south of Kurdistan uh, during, uh, before, uh, from 19th or 90th till uh, 1991st within the uprising when they were raising up their children they were they became father and mother at the same time uh, raising their children not only to raise up but only to become a uh, supporter uh, for the Kurdish movement, for the Kurdish revision, revolutionary, all these roles played, uh, women are played during uh, within uh, uh, Kurdish revolutionary process in the past. And after two, after 1991, uh, when the uprising has happened in the south of Kurdistan, um, uh, women were very active, also became part of the fighting to against the Ba'ath party at that time. But slowly, slowly, uh, when the men took power, uh, so the role of women in the political, of the decision making, of in the fighting uh, uh, military uh, against enemies, it became reduced because they don't want to women continue. But besides, with all these challenges, 
uh, from 90s, we had a group of uh, women as Peshmerga. Uh, at that time, it was only in Suleimani, in one of the city, because it is the more open society at that time. Uh, but now, after ISIS, uh, in uh, Ministry of Peshmerga in Kurdistan, we have a uh, uh, I don't know what is the military name. We have a group of Peshmerga, uh, 500, uh, most of them are Yazidi women, Yazidi survivors. They became Peshmerga in the uh, Ministry of uh, Peshmerga. They are supporting them, training them, and they are in some wars against ISIS. They were also participated or they were in the front line of the wars. But in the other parts of Kurdistan, for example, um, uh, in, uh, uh, in Syria, part of women has uh, more role in the in the military uh, in the society yeah